Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little, whoops, hang on. What's going on YouTube, etc. cetera. Uh, I don't know what's in here, but we're gonna find out together. Uh, thank you so much to Chris for sending this <laughs> for review. Uh, or for me to take a look at. I, I don't know what it is, uh, but we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna find out together. Man, I'm all messed up today. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me. Seriously, check out my Patreon. We do some fun stuff on Fridays on Patreon, and uh, I really appreciate the support. This channel could not grow to what it is currently without the help of my patrons, so thank you guys. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Whatever this is, I will try to link it down in the description, so you guys can check that out if you want to. Uh, I do always do appreciate it when you guys use my links. All right, come on now. There we go. There we go. What do we have? We have something that is taped to the inside. There we go. MC. Oh, yes. Okay, I know what this is. And he does have an EDC. Or I'm sorry, an EDC. An Instagram. I say EDC. Uh, Instagram, N-U-P-R-I-N underscore E-D-C. So give him a follow. All right. And we have a little bit more packaging to get into. Okay. So we have a best deck here. So this is one that I wanted to look at because a long time ago on this channel, you can go back and find it. I handled, is this the top? This is the top. I handled the uh, an original custom. So this is a collaboration between Jason Clark and best deck. I never thought I'd see this come to the production knife world. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, let's check out the action. Ooh. Ooh. So, you know, some people look at stuff like this and they're like, that, you know, that blade shape is, is not useful to me because it doesn't really have a tip. I can understand that. I mean, there is a huge utilitarian benefit of obviously to having a tip on your pocket knife. This is the Spanish tip razor. Apparently Spanish tip means it doesn't have a tip. I don't know. Um, so uh, I will link this guy down below because I am uh, more than certain that it is available. What's the steel? M390. Titanium bolsters. Titanium pocket clip. Titanium liner lock, which is really cool. Let me, let's, let's test that. Um, where, my magnet. There it is. Yep, titanium. Real smooth, real smooth action. Nice uh, flipping action. A little bit of a choil right here, kind of. This is just a cool knife. The The grind is, it's fully flat ground. And your, yeah, it's flat ground. I thought for a second that it might be hollow ground. Um, but uh, yeah, so this area up here, right? <laughs> Uh, no tip whatsoever. You can still use this area to dig into packages if you want to. Straight, otherwise, I think. Doesn't look like, no, there's no curvature whatsoever. On the bright side, it'll be real easy, not in terms of the steel, but in terms of the, um, the edge shape, real easy to sharpen. This, uh, so I handled a custom, a full custom Jason Clark. I think it was a so it was well over $1,000. I think it was a $1,200, maybe a $1,500 custom version of this and uh, a long time ago, like real early on the channel. And so when I saw that he was doing a production version, I was like, oh, that's kind of neat, right? Um, it's really comfortable. Uh, this is one of those where it has like a little bit more than a suggestion as far as where you should put your hands. They're kind of like, hey, put your fingers right here, kind of, right? But it's comfortable. And the pocket clip is flat. And the edges are knocked down, so it really, no, nah, you know what? The ergonomics are pretty good. This is all contoured. Um, these are actual bolsters because they're not connected um, with the titanium underneath. This is pretty neat. I mean, you know, as far as like a lot of the stuff that we're seeing out there right now, this is pretty different. It's not like we haven't seen, um, you know, these cleaver style blades. That's what I'm going to call it. So it looks like cleaver. Uh, it's like basically a super fancy shaving razor pocket knife, right? Um, it's not like we haven't seen this before, but exactly in this package, it's nice, right? You would expect to see another frame lock, but we have 
a titanium liner lock, which I like because it is completely and totally covered in this case by the bolster and the micarta scales. So no matter where you put your fingers when you flip it, it doesn't matter. You can't accidentally put pressure in the wrong place. It's going to flip, right? Uh, and also while you're gripping it and using it, no amount of squeezing pressure is going to alter the lockup or the geometry of that um, liner lock. How's the lockup solidity? It's good. Up and down plane, none. It's what I expect from Best Deck. No pivot lash. And the detent's good. No detent lash either. That's pretty neat. It's not going to be for everybody, but it's pretty neat. Um, I will make sure that that is linked. I have seen that. Uh, I've crossed over that multiple times. Um, this is a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought it would be kind of underwhelming. Um, but yeah, really cool. I'm sure it comes in a few different flavors as far as the uh, scale goes. You might get, I don't know if it's different colors of micarta. Maybe they've got G10. It's a pretty good sized knife too. This is not a review, by the way. First impressions. You can't review something after you've handled it for just a few minutes. So there'll be, there'll be a, another. It's actually an eight and a half inch knife and the blade length is 3.75. So it's bigger than you might think. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, this is not a review. I'm just sort of, I don't know, getting a feel for it. That's how I do these unboxings. Here in, uh, three to four weeks, something like that, you'll get a full comprehensive review. But in the meantime, if you want to check it out for yourself, there's a link right down below. Um, thanks again to, let's show his Instagram, uh, N-U-P-R-I-N underscore E-D-C on Instagram. Give him a follow. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram, uh... That would be great. I would really appreciate it if you followed me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.